Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Motorola Moto G from Android 5.0.2 Lollipop back to Android 4.4.3 KitKat. So the reason you might want to downgrade is because since updating to Lollipop, your battery life sucks. Also, you might not like the whole new material design what comes with Android 5.0. Um, so that's two of the reasons why you might want to downgrade back to KitKat. So I'm going to take you through the process real quick. It's real simple to do. Um, before you do this though, this is very important. Make sure you back up all your important files, videos, pictures, and all other things which might be important to you because doing this will wipe your phone clean. Okay, so first thing you'll need to do now is you'll need to download the Motorola USB drivers. I'll leave a link to where you can download it from in the description down below. Once you click on the link, this is how it will look. Okay, so what you need to do now is if you've got a 64 bit PC, you download the 64 bit option here. Or if you've got a 32 bit PC, you download this option here. So I've got a 64 bit PC, so I've downloaded this option here and once you download it just start on your desktop and this is how it looks make sure you've got WinRAR because now you'll need to extract it so make a new folder and drag and drop the USB driver zip file into there right click on it select extract here and then just click on this option here and go ahead and select next and it'll install all the drivers you need only takes a few minutes to do so I've cancelled that because I've already got them installed and the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download this file here which is the firmware restock lock and more 4.4.3 file this is it I'll leave a link to that in the description down below so once you download it just right click on your de desktop once again make a new folder And drag and drop the file into there and this is how it should look firmware restock restore lock and more 4.4.3 right click on it extract here this is a all-in-one type toolkit so what this is going to do, this is going to put 4.4.3 back onto your Moto G. Also, you can use it to relock your bootloader and you can also use it to um, get rid of the unlocked bootloader warning splash screen. So it's a very handy tool. Okay, so once it's finished extracting, just open it up. And as you can see here, we can restart and relock bootloader with a full wipe. We can also restart Moto logo instead of unlock logo. Restart no data wipe and we can also restart the stock firmware 4.4.3. Okay, next thing you'll need to do now is you'll need to just put your phone into bootloader mode. So just power off. And here on the side, you're going to press volume up along with the power button for a few seconds until it takes you into bootloader mode. One, two, three, then let go. And now you should see a screen like this. God, this camera sucks. Come on, focus. 
there you go so now you should see a screen like this what you're gonna do now is, is just connect your phone to the USB cable so I'm just gonna put my camera down and do that real quick okay so once it's connected go back to your desktop and just hit this option here restore US retail XT 1032 and this black box should now pop up just hit any key to continue so I'm going to hit the enter key on my PC and now it's doing its thing If it says failed invalid argument, don't worry about that. Just ignore it. Pay attention to where it says writing OK, sending OK, and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Okay, so as you can see here now it says finished, press any key to continue. So I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard here. And now you can close all this down. Unplug your phone. just hit the power button here normal power up
Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the setup process here. Okay, so I'm back to Android 4.4.3. Let's just check real quick. Android 4.4.3. KitKat. Okay, so one thing you're gonna notice is after you've downgraded, you're gonna have these like wavy lines going down the screen. But once you lock the phone's display and then you unlock it, those lines will disappear and the phone will be perfectly fine. But yeah, that's just how you um, downgrade back to Android 4.4.3 KitKat from Android 5.0.2. To lollipop um, if you want to know how to get rid of a restore I mean if you want to know how to get rid of a um, unlocked bootloader splash screen I'll do a tutorial video on that separately if you want me to show you how to do it but it's real simple to do but this video like I said it was just to show you how to downgrade so if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up also leave any comments in the comment section down below if you need help with anything i'll be sure to respond thanks for watching this video i'm out deuces